I decided to do a short video explaining how I modified my Harbor Freight truck bed extender to better suit my needs. As you know, a truck bed extender has a long arm and a short arm, both of which will fit into the receiver, hitch receiver. I also bought a receiver extender, um, which uh, brings it out a little bit further. It's nice, this will actually allow me to drop the tailgate without hitting the bar. When you use the short end in the receiver, this bar will adjust to the height of the truck cap. So if you have something on top of the cap, uh, this will support it. When the long arm is in the receiver, and this, is, this piece is on the short arm, this piece will adjust to the height of your tailgate. So if you have your tailgate down, you can lay things flat in the bed and this will support it. Um, the issue I have is I carry two things, a 30 foot extension ladder and a 17 foot canoe. When the extension ladder or the canoe is in the truck bed, and, and I should mention I have an eight foot box, half of it sticks out. In the case of the canoe, more than half sticks out. And anytime you go over a bounce, the ladder can pivot on the tailgate. Same for the canoe. So I wanted a way to modify uh, the hitch extender so I could carry the ladder and the canoe out of the truck bed over the tailgate rather than laying flat because I always worry about someone rear-ending me when I have things sticking out that far. So what I did was I put the short end in the receiver and once again, like I said, I have the, the hitch extender on there to bring it out a little bit. And I held this piece up against the ladder and I marked the bottom and I also marked the bottom hole because that bottom hole this this piece is up as high as I want it to go when I carry the canoe the middle of the canoe the sides in the middle are narrower or shorter than the ends of the canoe so the middle of the canoe will fit in the space with the window up but the ends of the canoe would drop down below the level of the tailgate so in order to support the canoe this part part bar had to drop down so like I said I marked where the bottom was and I marked where this hole was and I cut it off so I cut off about this much I put tape on there to make my marks because I have a black marker and it really wouldn't show up on the black metal so you do need when you when you cut it off you do need some of this bar to support this piece. If you look, you have about four and a half inches from the top here to the center of this hole. So I marked where I wanted to drill my new hole and I came up three and a half inches and I be and cut this piece off. So now I have three and a half inches in here in the bottom hole to support this piece. And when I drop it all the way down to this hole, the three and a half inches tucks up in here. So that way I can carry my extension ladder and my canoe without having to have the tailgate down and everything sticking way out the back. Um, like I said, in stop and go traffic, you always worry about somebody hitting the rear ending you when it's down like that. So I hope this uh, gives you guys some ideas what I did. Uh, this may be helpful, especially if you uh, have a short bed truck with either the six foot or the five and a half foot bed. Um, having an extender like this for hauling longer lumber and things may come in handy. So, hope this helps and leave comments if you want. Thank you very much.